this over development. You're saying groundwater, okay? Now, you said something about uh, home house filters. Yeah, that, that popped into my brain over the past uh, th three days. Um, are you going to give every single house, every person in this room, a home house filter? Are you going to give us pay for water filters, whole house water filters? Because, hey, I brush my teeth, I wash uh, every day, I bathe every day. Um, we need help. This is, this, this is like, this is mind boggling. You know, what's going on around here, okay? Uh, we, need, we need help. I live in Colonia. I work in Edison as a health inspector. You say this is not an acute health hazard. I agree with you. However, what about the women in here who are expecting their first child? Or the babies who live in Edison and in Metuchen and in Colonia? who are not able to be nursed at their mother's breast and have to resort to formula, which no shame in that, and they're utilizing the tap water, which you're saying is safe. You're talking about an innocent infant. Do I need to wash my produce for my family with bottled or filtered water? Somebody please answer that question. The answer is no. No. I What's the residual? I can't, I don't know how to say it any more simply than the statistic we shared. Okay. That if you consume more than 14 parts per trillion over approximately 70 years, gotcha. you have a one in a million chance of getting cancer. Yeah. I mean, that's the, that's the basis on which the state established the maximum contaminant level. So nobody cares about the children or our future. No one cares about that, right? The water is safe. The water is safe. I had some, then why does your, why does your letter state don't consume your tap water unless it is adequately filtered? How is it safe if that, you're telling us, Middlesex Water is telling us, don't consume the water? As I, you may not have heard me describe at the front Please end of the do. presentation, that the New Jersey DEP requires that language that was included in that initial letter. We had no say in what was included in that letter. That this so is our opportunity. So as long as the liability is taken care of, then it, it's all good. I'm just telling you what we're supposed to okay. do relative to I the regulation. I am ma'am. I just. The water is safe. It's not safe for. It's not safe though. Uh, what type of filter do you suggest we use until the problem is resolved? Go ahead. Who's gonna pay? There, there's three types of treatments that you could use for P. Please FOA, and, and that is reverse osmosis, granulated activated carbon, and then ion exchange. Those are the three treatment me methods. Now, if you need to find a, a, a filter to use, we gave some uh, good information on our website of where you can go to have certified filters that will remove that, because not all filters. Ion exchange. Ion exchange. Uh, hello, thanks for having me. My name is Ricky. I'm a teacher in the district. I live in the district and I have three young daughters that go to school in the district. My first um, question is to piggyback off the idea of the gentleman in regarding to our students in our school. Uh, two years is too long to wait for our students. Bottled water costs $2.25 a bottle at our high school. Could there be money or funds available to supply bottled water to our students because our water fountains are not going to suffice anymore? So if that, that's my first concern. As Dave indicated, we believe the average coming out of our treatment facilities is going to be approximately 20 parts per trillion or thereabouts, which, yes, it's, in, it's above the maximum contaminant level, but as we've indicated, we don't believe even at 20 parts per trillion, it's a health emergency. Our view would be that the water is safe to drink for students in schools, for people in their homes, uh, people in nursing homes. It's, again, if people have specific concerns, they should talk with their healthcare professional.